morning everybody hello world it is bright out today we are flying across the Canadian prairies of Saskatchewan here right now riveting excitement we're on our way to Surrey British Columbia which is in in my mind a suburb of Vancouver British Columbia right on the southwestern tip of Canada, right on the west coast. So I have a load of glass behind me. And instead of having it in wooden crates this time, they have it in steel crates. A lot faster to load it, but... I don't know how they're gonna get those crates back, because I asked them, like, do, do they have to like send these crates back to you to reuse? I guess it would make sense, right? Don't waste as much wood, you can use steel crates and you can reuse them. But how do they get those crates back to them? All the way, to, it's a three day drive. So what, you gotta pay for us to bring the load all the way three days across the continent, and then you gotta pay someone else to bring those crates all the way back three days? Seems kind of interesting. Yeah, you're saving trees, but you're also burning a lot of extra fuel. And fuel isn't renewable. Trees are slow, but they are they do grow. I don't know. What do I know? I just do what I'm told. Gives us work to do, I guess. Another trucker has a job to do bringing these crates back. I don't think I'm bringing them back. Actually, I know I'm not. Because I have a, uh, a lumber load waiting for me in Kamloops. No, no, not Kamloops. In Kelowna, British Columbia. And that's taking me back to Wisconsin next week. And I got a tarp it too. Mm. Tarping lumber. It must be fancy lumber. That'll take me all the way back. Probably for another glass load. I gotta keep myself busy. I gotta keep running hard. We have a new roof to pay for. We're getting an estimate on our roof or a quote for our roof next week. So we'll know what our target is very soon. All that I know is it's not gonna be cheap. But you only gotta do it once. You redo your roof once with steel roofing or metal roofing and it's it's done for the rest of your life. You never have to replace that roof again. As long as it's done right, you're set. And no more ice damming. That's the problem we're dealing with right now is ice damming. It doesn't happen on steel roofs. Well, we're arriving in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan and uh, I'm gonna swing into the gym here. There's a Snap Fitness where I can get my truck close to. Use the right lane to take the Saskatchewan 2 South ramp, then merge onto Saskatchewan 2 South. We're not quite halfway through our day. That's a good time to pull in here and see what kind of gym facility they got here. Steinbeck has still had the nicest one so far. Edmonton was pretty nice too, Saskatoon, but I find that the Snap Fitnesses in the US that I've visited so far are much smaller and they don't have showers, whereas the ones in Canada all have showers. So strange that they have a gym, but they don't have showers. I guess most of their members are local, so they just go home and shower at home. Makes Take sense. On right to Highway 1 East. No, no, Mandy. No, no, Mandy, I'm listening in to Google. Meters, turn right at Deef and Baker Drive. We're at Deef and Baker Drive. I've never stopped at this location. I'm not too sure what to expect. Take ramp on right to Highway 1 West. No, Mandy. Calm down. It's just up here. Oh, wow. This is really small. But I can get my truck right in here, so Your destination is that's on good. The right. I was planning on parking on the street, but I got lots of parking right in here. It's behind this... Uh, this bar here. I don't even know if this bar is still open or not. Looks like it's closed down. It's just off to our left. Wow, that is a small location. Look at that. Can you see it there? Maybe there's more of it behind everything? No, that is a really small location. Okay. That's okay. We'll work with it. 
It'll work. I haven't given you a look at my load yet, have I? Oh. Alright, well, here you go, you lucky people. That's the load. There is glass under this in crates. Steel crates. I don't know if I can. Nope. Tarps are pretty tight. As they should be. Yeah, I can't see under there. I'll have to show you once I deliver it. A lot of money's worth under there. Got my tarps at the back here. These tarps I have to return. I don't want to keep these because they're old and they're heavy. These are mine that have been assigned to me, and they're nice and light and much easier to throw up on top of a load than these old things. Especially this front one. Oh, this thing was like 150 pounds. But we got it done. So it was pretty nice in there and they did have showers in there. So, so far, what I have found is that Snap Fitness anyways, I don't know about all the other gyms, but Snap Fitness, all the Canadian locations so far have had showers. All of the American locations so far have not had showers. I don't know what that says about the hygiene habits of our friendly neighbors, but apparently in Canada we like to have showers at the gym. Maybe in the States they just like showering at home better. I prefer showering at home myself. I do not like using public showers, but I'm a truck driver. It's part of my life. It's like, got a shower. So I just did 30 minutes of cardio. <clears throat> Not too long. Ended up being here for an hour. So I gotta get going. I've got a load to deliver still, so unfortunately I can't stay any longer than that, but at least I got something in, right? All right, we have eight hours available to us to drive today yet, and I wanna go as far as I can. Like I said, Moose Jaw's not quite halfway. We'll be driving into the night a bit. And tomorrow we'll be a little bit more rushed because it's our last day. We have to, we have to deliver the following day. Don't talk over me, Mandy, that's rude. That was a yield sign, right? Well, I'm gonna stop anyway, just in case. Got a red light here anyway. Well, daylight savings time just happened the other day before filming this. So it feels like the days are longer now. But not only because the clocks changed, but also because the sun is finally actually in the sky longer. This is my favorite time of year because every day just gets better. Every day keeps getting longer and longer until we hit the heat of summer. And then you get to enjoy all of summer and fall and then it's the worst time of the year where you start realizing every day the days start getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I'm talking about daylight hours. If I don't clarify that, someone's going to be like, it's not really getting shorter, Trucker Josh. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. The comments are going to be there anyways, but the majority, you know what I mean. It's so nice to be able to drive in the sunlight. It's The worst part of winter is the darkness, I think. Well, and the cold. You know, winter in general sucks. And this time of year, it's just, oh, so excited. So excited. big town before Alberta. It's a swift current Saskatchewan. Beautiful country out here. This is just north of uh, Montana, USA. Montana is one of my favorite states. I heard there was a petition a while ago for Montana to join Canada. <laughs> 
I don't think they would like that very much. Not not that Canada is not a great country. Uh, I'm just saying that Montana is one of those uh, low tax states, right? Very like no sales tax, very low tax. If they join Canada, they're gonna get a boot in the butt of taxes. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> I don't think they quite understand how many taxes we pay for all the free stuff we get. Continue 550 meters, then turn left on North Service Road West. That's the problem though, right? It's not free stuff. But hey, you have universal health care. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with our health care. I like it. I, I think that every person should have access to health care. And I don't mind chipping in a little bit so that everybody can get the care they need when they're in trouble. I just have a problem because it gets abused. But you have to decide then. What do you, what do you want more? Do you want to everyone to have access to health care or do you want to deny people care because some might abuse it uh, it's a tough choice to make right I don't I'm I can't make that choice other people made that choice for me and it is what it is now you know but yeah there was a petition not too long ago for Montana to join Canada and I love Montana I love their low tax lifestyle they wouldn't like the taxes we pay I can tell you that much <laughs> they have no idea. Let's see if I can get around here. Can I make it? Whew. It's pretty close. Jackknife it around here. Whew. There we go. Beautiful. Wunderbar. Just stopping at Tim Hortons here for a coffee. Oh, now this guy's gonna want to turn around too. No room, buddy. Bassano, Alberta. I think that's how you say it. Bassano. I haven't stayed at this SO overnight in years. Usually because I go to Strathmore or uh, the other side of Calgary. But I just don't think I'll have the hours to make it that far today. So we're stopping here instead. We'll find a parking spot for us. Turn right on 11th Street. No, Mandy, no, we gotta go to bed. Dad? Dad, have you seen Mom? Where's Mom? She out there. Do you miss Mom, Chevy? You miss her? She's at home. She's at home? Yeah, we're gonna go back home later. First, we gotta go through the mountains and all the way back. All the way back too. So a few days yet, buddy. A few days. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? What are we gonna do? Once we get to the other side of the mountains, we're gonna go for a walk. It's gonna be nice and warm on that side of the mountains. Maybe we could even go for a bit of a run. Maybe come back to the truck and get a treat. Really? Really? After all this, I'm gonna have to give you a treat right now. Are you a good boy? Because only good boys get treats. Are you a good boy? Chevy. 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 I love having Chevy along. It's so different than having Diesel along. They're both unique in their own ways. He's such a good boy. All he wants to do is love you. That's his only mission in life. Just to love everyone. <laughs> such a big guy. <laughs> so we made it to this ESO, like I was telling you, here in uh, Bassano, Alberta. We'll do the rest tomorrow. We have 1,097 kilometers to go. Woo! Oh, we'll have 13 hours to do it in. So I hope you tune in and keep me company, because... Uh, it's going to be a long drive. All right, Chef, are you ready to see the mountains tomorrow? Are you ready? Are you going to take some pictures? Are you going to take some pictures? Are you going to be that tourist? Yeah? Don't lick my lips. Do not lick my lips. You can... Okay, that's kind of weird. You want to sniff my beard? Is that what you're doing? I blew in your ear. <gasps> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Good 
good boy. Shit. You ready for bed? I'm ready for bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah! Hey! None of that! None of that! Hey! It's okay, Jimmy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Good boy. Just don't lick on the lips. That's gross, all right? All right, we're bros, but we're not that kind of bros, all right? <laughs>